songs that I asked for, even though Stephanie was out of town, and two of them were hers. <laughs> it's a lot to me. Each week, we come to this table. This table is a gift from God, a gift representing the sacrifice of, of God's Son, Jesus, to forgive our sins and a promise of eternal life with him. Just like Jesus said, let the little children come to him. This invitation is extended to all God's children. All are welcome. We are all God's children. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for a time at the table.
gospel verses about Jesus saying, bring the children to me. And many of us have been parents or are parents, and many of us are raising kids, and we hear that and go, well, of course, why wouldn't we bring the children to Jesus? But, you know, we often forget that in the first century, in Judea, where Jesus lived and was doing ministry, children were the lowest thing on the social scale because it was a male-dominated society that was agricultural in nature. And so your rating or your ranking in importance and preference was based on what you could contribute. And so the smallest children not being able to contribute anything were lower than the slaves, lower than the lowest of the social outcasts. The children were even lower than that. And so we hear these words in the gospel And we shouldn't miss the radical thing that Jesus was doing when he said, bring these little children to me. And you know, Jesus was known throughout his ministry for doing radical things, where the custom of the day said you only ate with folks that were at your social status or above. In fact, that's how you climb the social ladder. Jesus said, no, the table is open to all. And people he were eating with said, well, wait a minute, they're a sinner. And Jesus said, I know, that's okay. And that person's not deserving. They're down on the social ladder. And Jesus said, I know, that's okay. The table is open to all. And so each week here at Cypress Creek, we gather around a table, a table that's open to all, a table that you might not think you're good enough. You might not think you're holy enough. You might not think you're righteous enough to come to this table but we follow a person that said, this table is open to all. All are forgiven, all are equal in God's kingdom. And so this table is not our table here at Cypress Creek. This is a table of the Lord and all are invited. And Jesus demonstrated this again and again. He gathered his followers together at a table and he took an ordinary loaf of bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. And a little later in the meal, as was their custom, he took a glass of wine. We use grape juice here at Cypress Creek. And he blessed it and said, this is my blood, blood that will be shed for you and for all so that your sins will be forgiven. And he looked around the table at all of those seated with him and said, whenever you gather to share a meal, remember me. And so this morning we do remember him As we come to this table, we invite you to take an ordinary piece of bread, dip it in the cup, and remember the meal that Jesus provided. If you need gluten-free communion, we have that as well. And as you come forward to share in this meal, we'll invite you to bring your blue cards and a portion of your many gifts that you've received and share those back. Let's pray together. Creator of all, God of all creatures, we praise you. We give thanks for all that you have given us. The beauty of your creation is all around us. You have created all things, every person, animal, fish, and plant. The beauty is overwhelming. We stand in awe. Guide us to be loving caretakers and good caretakers of all that you have created. Maker of all things, we are your children. Fill us with that childlike trust so that we can let our light shine for the world to see. Hold our hands and slow us down to stop, look, and listen, and take in and protect all of your creation. Most gracious God, bless this bread and wine we are about to receive. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Bless the offerings that we bring today. Be with us as we pray the prayer your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The feast is prepared. Come enjoy the feast of the Lord. send an invitation to make Cypress Creek your church home. If you've been considering joining, we would love to have you become part of our church family. There are a couple ways of joining our, church, our family of faith. You may come forward as we sing this next song. 
transfer your membership or make a confession of faith, or you may see one of the pastoral staff or elders after the service. Now let us all stand and join our voices.
just a few announcements. Uh, congregational conversations for visioning and missioning, what's next? Um, today with Bruce at 11 in the forum. Wednesday night this week at noon and 6.30 in the activity room and Thursday this week at 6.30 in the activity room. Try to make one of them. It's real important um, to help vision for our church. Uh, elders meeting tonight at 5, board meeting at 6.30 in room 203-204. Divorce care begins this Wednesday, the 24th, at 6.30 in the Centrum Brides Room. Um, Christian Arts Theater for Children begins this Wednesday at 6.30. There should have been an insert in your bulletin, and you need to register your child using the back of that insert. Um, also, Children's Choir began today at 9.15, but if you didn't get them started today, if they want to participate next week, we'll work. And one more. Men's group will meet at Mellow Mushroom next Sunday, the 28th, at 2.45 to discuss are you a fan or a follower, and then the guys that want to can hang around and watch the rest of the football game. And... Now grab a hand of someone close by, and we will close with our unison prayer. Yes. For divorce care. Yes. Wednesday night, 6.30, uh, in room 203 upstairs. Oh. Huh? Youth building. Oh, that's not what it says. Youth building. Okay, I'm sorry. Please join us, anybody. Who okay. Wrong, wrong room, but same, same time and place. All right. Gracious God. May your love and our lives come together in a life lived in love. May Jesus be our mentor and our model. May the world see in us a life that is willing to put love first in all things. Amen.